Obtain an instrumented dog bone specimen and measure the width, thickness, gauge length, and overall length of the dog bone specimen using the digital caliper and micrometer. The rosette gauge and wires are extremely delicate. Do not touch the rosette or contact with calipers. For replication, have several students measure the specimens and record on the front board to share with the entire lab section. The lab has two Instron testers with a central computer console to interface both machines. For the tensile test, we'll be using the 8516 on the left. Press button number one on the KVM switch and then turn on the left computer. To power up the Instron, toggle the switch located at the rear of the controller towards the top. The Instron will take a few minutes to boot up. When ready, RAM position and load should be displayed at the top with the units of millimeters and kilonewtons. Also, you'll notice a flashing green LED which indicates the load cell must be calibrated before proceeding. Before calibration, verify the load cell is unloaded with the grips empty. Press the setup button below the flashing green LED. On the lower console, press the soft key sequence Cal, Cal, Auto, and then Go. The LED will begin to rapidly blink during calibration. When calibration is finished, the LED will glow steady. Next, the load cell must be balanced or zeroed. As before, press the setup button for the load channel. On the lower console, press the soft keys for Cal, Cal, and Balance. The load display should now read about zero. Press button one to start the hydraulic pump in low pressure. Wait several seconds before pressing button two, which jumps to high. Jog the ram to the starting position of negative 40 millimeters using the control wand. The up-down buttons are for coarse movement, while the thumb wheel allows for a fine adjustment of the ram position. Try to get as close to negative 40 as possible. On your desktop, open the X95 shortcut folder and select Aluminum Tensile Test with Mora Circle. Once the program opens, navigate to the Configuration tab. The title and sampling frequency may be edited, but the defaults should be sufficient. The lab view offsets are used to zero load and position. On the Configuration panel, set both offsets to zero. Select the Take Data tab to open the front panel and start lab view. Click on the green Take Data button and note the average value for both load and position. When done, click the Stop button and cancel the prompt to save the data. Return to the Configuration panel. Now enter the load and position values as offsets, but use the opposite sign to force a zero reading. Now return to the front panel and click Take Data. Load and position should now read about zero. Before proceeding, let's verify all three strain gauge channels are operational. Plug the reset connector into the white box. In lab view, null and then calibrate the rosette strain gauge. Click the Take Data button and manually stress the dog bone specimen. All three channels should be responsive to the stress. If not, get another dog bone specimen. After validating the rosette gauge, install the dog bone specimen into the grips. Tighten the grips until firmly snug, but be careful not to over tighten, which will permanently damage the clamping mechanism. 
When done, close the guard door. To change the ramp speed, press the waveform button in the position row. On the lower console, press the soft key for millimeters per second and enter the desired speed using the numeric pad. Since the load cell tends to drift, let's balance the load cell again by pressing Setup, then Cal, Cal, and Balance. In lab view, Null, then calibrate the rosette strain gauge. Press the Take Data button to start data collection. On the Instron, press the Start button. You should see the load start to climb as the RAM moves. Click on the tab labeled XY Chart for a better visual. Load versus displacement is plotted in white, load versus strain in red. Let's fast forward a bit. Eventually, the strain channel will drop as the strain gauges begin to fail. Toggle the Enable switch to discontinue plotting strain. Switch to the front panel to view the three strain channels and the sequence of failure. Now let's return to the XY chart. After reaching a peak, the load will slowly begin to drop until the specimen fails. Once failure occurs, press the red stop button on the Instron. In LabVIEW, navigate to the front panel and press the stop button. Save the data to a common delimited text file on your desktop. Now press the End Program button to exit LabVIEW. Remove the test specimen from the grips. As a sanity check, measure the overall length of the two segments and calculate strain. How does this compare with the collected data? Record the measurements on the whiteboard. Following a stop event, the Instron must be reset by pressing Function, then Stop Reset. Jog the RAM to the start position of negative 40 millimeters. Shut down the hydraulic pump by going to low pressure. Pause a few seconds, then off. Shut off the Instron if you're the last lab section of the day. Finally, disconnect the wire harness and place in the black bin for recycling. Remember to save your data before leaving the lab today.